Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel SKV Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to backup and restore Windows 11 files and folders via file history feature. The file history feature automatically backup your files to a drive that you selected. So in case you lost your original files and folders, you can always restore them using the file history backup drive that you created. However, most of the users are unfamiliar with this tool. They must want to know about how they can use this tool to backup and restore on their system. Hence, we will be showing you the different methods for backup and restore that is what we are going to do so watch the video and subscribe to the channel okay let's start method number one backup and restore files and folders via control panel let's see how to backup file history feature using control panel to do that open the run dialog box by pressing windows logo key plus r in the run dialog box we'll type control and press the enter key to open the control panel you can also open the control panel through the windows search feature in the control panel change the view option to get the old control panel settings like this under control panel settings now click on the file history settings in the file history settings here windows automatically select the drive that can be used for file history backup here we have one external usb flash drive now you can get access to the left side additional settings for file history if you have another drive click the select drive it will show you available drives that can be used for file history backup also you can exclude folders by clicking on the add a folder under the exclude these folders option like this in the advanced settings you can also schedule backup with different timing and set the keeping backup time like this as you wish once you prepare to start click on the turn on button to start the file history backup this will start backup your files to a drive that you selected after for a while once complete the process it will stop file history backup automatically then you will see run now link if you want to run again file history backup click on it like this once complete the backup you have created a backup files to a drive that you selected now click on the turn off button to completely stop the file history backup like this now close the control panel that's it next to restore missing or corrupted files and folders through control panel by using the file history backup file to do that firstly you have to connect the external storage device that contains your file history backup files like this next to open the run dialog box by pressing windows logo key plus r in the run dialog box we'll type control and press the enter key to open the control panel in the control panel change the view option to get the old control panel settings under control panel settings now click on the file history settings here in the left side additional file history settings you can restore files and folders by clicking on the restore personal files you can see here click on it then you will see this kind of window this will displace all the folders that have been backed up by file history now you can select the folder you want select the folder and then click the green button at the bottom of the window to restore it like this then windows automatically restore folders to its previous location like this you can see here next if you need only a file from the folder then double click the folder to view it and make sure the file you want then select the file and then click the green button at the bottom of the window to restore it like this you can see here that's it this is how you can restore missing or corrupted files and folders by using file history backup file okay that's it next method number two backup and restore files and folders via windows settings open the windows settings by pressing windows logo key plus i on the windows settings page click on the update and security option on the update and security settings in the left pan select the backup option and then go to right pan here click on add a drive button to add a drive for backup click on it it will show you available internal and external drives that can be used for file history backup in this pc i have one external usb flash drive you can choose the one available drive after choosing the drive it will show the toggle button turned on for automatic backup my files like this you can also use more options under toggle button click on it this will open more options for your backup settings here you can click the backup now button to start the backup right now without scheduling you can also schedule backup with different timing and set the keeping backup time like this as you wish you can choose down below it will add user folders to this list by default here 
you can add a folder click on add a folder under backup these folders to include folders in file history backup also you can exclude folders by clicking the add a folder under the exclude these folders option and you can also simply click on the folder and then choose the remove option like this as you wish once you prepare to start the backup right now without scheduling click the backup now button to start the file history backup this will start backup your files to a drive that you selected after for a while once complete the process it will stop file history backup automatically once complete the backup you have created a backup files to a drive that you selected once done then go back to the backup page and turn off the toggle button to stop the backup like this that's it now close the windows settings next restore missing or corrupted files and folders through windows settings by using file history backup file to do that firstly you have to connect the external storage device that contains your file history backup files like this next open the windows settings by pressing windows logo key plus i on the windows settings page click on the update and security option on the update and security settings in the left pan select the backup option and then go to right pan here under toggle button you will see more options link click on it this will open more options page then scroll down to the bottom of the more options page then you will see a link restore files from a current backup you can see here click on it this will display all the folders that have been backed up by file history now you can select the folder you want select the folder and then click the green button at the bottom of the window to restore it like this then windows automatically restore folders to its previous location like this you can see here next if you need only a file from the folder then double click the folder to view it and make sure the file you want then select the file and then click the green button at the bottom of the window to restore it like this then windows automatically restore the files to its previous location you can see here that's it this is how you can restore missing or corrupted files and folders by using file history backup file okay that's it i hope this video helps you thanks for watching and supporting please don't forget to hit like and subscribe your contribution is more confidence to us if you have any issues so please let me know in the comment section below please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more useful videos once again thanks for watching and supporting see you in next video bye take care